there are many astonishing ancient structures located within India. Arguably, some of the most intricately detailed structures to be found anywhere on Earth. We have, in the past, covered a number of these structures, not only due to the astonishing detail displayed upon their stonework, but also many other compelling enigmatic details that, to this day, remain unexplained. A personal recommendation for an alternative archaeological researcher of Indian ruins is Praveen Mohan over at Phenomenal Travel Videos. Yet, due to the countless ancient anomalies that can be found within India, we rarely step on each other's proverbial feet. For example, during my own personal research, I have not only found that many of the hillside temples, seemingly hewn from the bedrock of Earth, would even to this day be incredibly difficult to replicate, if not impossible. With some of the most astonishing, not only attached to religious belief and historical rumor to a mountain in the Himalayas, a factor we have also previously covered, with my personal observations, regardless of the fact that many locals pertain to it being an ancient pyramid, discovered noticeable evidence of the entire base of the mountain, once having been hewn into an artificial crescent. Also remains unclear is if the entire mountain is a man-made pyramid disguised by the erosion of many millennia. The research team claimed, quote, The stratum is horizontal with the layers of stone, slightly varying in color. The dividing lines show up clear and distinct, which gives the entire mountain the facade of having been built by giant hands of huge blocks of reddish stone. End quote. With the stone quarried out to create the astonishing temples, an accepted artistic masterpiece, just like Yongyu Cave in China, have never been found. Additionally, during my own pursuit for clues as to how and indeed who could have created such temples, I have identified signature tool marks in several areas that match that of many other ancient ruins, indeed such as Yangshan Quarry also in China. Providing strong evidence that Whoever was responsible for these ruins may have indeed been the same civilization, or, as our Atlantean videos have postulated, were commanded to be constructed by a dominant civilization, sharing such technologies with the native populations, employing them to create such wonders. Thus, this would also explain the matching signatures of advanced stone-cutting tool marks found on different continents. Like our research into the variation into ancient stone clamps, a method that was undeniably shared throughout the globe, yet the methods of creating such clamps and the resulting metallurgy varies from continent to continent. As we have previously stated on many occasions, whoever was responsible for these incredible ancient sites seemingly vanished at some point within antiquity, leaving many ancient quarries and temples unfinished. One of the temples that we used to link the tool marks with other sites around the world, Vetivan Coil. One of the precious, abandoned sites that like so many other ancient advanced ruins that were being built around the world, vitally shows the rough stone-cutting signatures left by an advanced machinery that was once responsible for their initial cutting, this before the refinement of such structures' carvings. With many other sites in India, that due to their geographical positioning, and thus protection from erosion, still possesses these same signature tool marks. However, the purpose of today's video is probably one of the most peculiar anomalies in India, and could be perceived by some as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence of advanced ancient machinery having once been responsible for these ancient structures. Known as the Tanjore Brihadiswara Temple, which was supposedly constructed by the Cholas. However, the temple possesses a characteristic which was not only out of the capabilities of the Cholas dynasty, but to me, is compelling proof of a pre-Diluvian civilization having been responsible for its construction. As atop the temple, at a height of 216 feet above ground level, is a solid lump of granite carved with perfection yet has been realized at an astonishing weight of 80 tons. To put that in perspective, according to academia, an ancient culture with no advanced technologies 
especially lifting technologies, a dynasty well studied and explored by modern academia. The heartland of the Cholas was the fertile valley of the Kaveri River. Although their power was considerable and was probably complemented by such claimed of astonishing feats of architecture, regardless, the question remains. How did this civilization raise such an enormous stone? It seems to us that such claims were merely made to impress their enemies and allies, and the fact that academia is severely lacking any explanation as to how such a feat was accomplished strongly supports my suspicion that the temple is in fact an antediluvian ruin, and as such, highly compelling. If you enjoy our content, if you think our battle worthy, please help us to continue our voyage of discovery in unraveling the mysteries of history. Links to donate can be found within the description. Without you, we cannot survive. Thank you.